Okay, 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 okay. I just wanted to do this quick video about something that I'm really excited about. Jody and I were watching this documentary on Netflix about prison life uh, called Locked Up. This, this documentary on Netflix just reflects the lives of inmates in the United States, uh, just their stories, all the things that, you know, that, that inmates, prisoners deal with every day and their personal stories. Anyways, I'm, I've always been sort of fascinated by documentaries like these because especially something like the American prison system for me is very sort of well, fascinating because first of all, I've never been to prison. I've never even been arrested in my life. So I have like no reference material whatsoever when it comes to being incarcerated. Maybe that's also a reason why I find it so fascinating. I don't know. But also the American uh, prison system and, and legal system, uh, I mean the sentences people get over there are so much more extreme than for example here in Holland. We don't have the death penalty, which just doesn't exist here. In that, in that show, uh, Locked Up, uh, some people uh, had prison sentences of like 147 years. Are you freaking kidding me? If you have like 147 years in prison, that means you're never gonna get out. Unless like in the future people start inventing pills or whatever that make you live longer. I mean, I can give you one example. We had the uh, shooter of a uh, well-known politician, uh, Pim Fortuyn. He was a well-known politician here in Holland. He got shot. Uh, he got shot and killed in 2002. The guy who did it, he got arrested, obviously. He got something like 18 years, which is not really that much to start with. And of that 18 years, he only served 12 years and then he got out on parole. So this guy shot a well-known politician in the middle of a parking lot in broad daylight. He just shot him, just like that, and he got 12 years. This guy is free now. I mean, he got out, I think, in 2014. So he got arrested in 2002 and in 2014, he was out. Freeze bird. I guess if you would shoot like a very well-known politician, let's say Hillary Clinton, uh, if somebody in the United States would shoot her, kill her in broad daylight, what kind of a prison sentence would he or she get? I'll bet your ass it's gonna be more than 12 years. My story is getting too long. Uh, what I was gonna say, and the reason why I'm so excited, yes, I found this website, writeaprisoner.com. This website, right here, I'll show it to you. Um, writeaprisoner.com and I found that website and this is a website where you can just write an inmate in the uh, in the United States. I just went through some profiles and I thought to myself, well, I mean, I'll just, I'm just gonna pick a, a random guy. You know, I, I'm not really, I'm not even interested in, in what his crime was. I'm just interested in, in conversing, you know, and just in getting to know this, this, this person and, and asking, you know, what's, what is it, what's it like over there? And in some way, maybe I can just make his day a little bit better and that's, that's the only thing that, that I wanted with this. Just to see if, um, if I would even get a reply because I wasn't sure like maybe I'm, I'm gonna send this, this letter and I'm never gonna hear anything. And just see if this makes somebody's day just a little bit brighter. Today I got home, I found this letter in the mail. Look, from the US of A. Oh my gosh, yes, really. And it says here, I'm gonna blur out a little bit of the information, uh, but it says, this is from the, the United States Penitentiary in Lompoc, California. So this guy, I wrote, he wrote me back. Here's the letter. This is so cool. <laughs> I just got a letter from this guy like 10,000 miles away from me somewhere in California in a, in a prison. Long story short, I think this is an amazing way to get in touch with a, a person who is incarcerated, who's in prison, who may not have anything to look forward to. It can't be a bad thing, this. I mean, this, this writing with an inmate, I, I cannot see this as a negative or a bad thing. So if you see my video and you are in some way inspired to, to do this, uh, just go to that website, writeaprisoner.com, uh, read about it, read about the options. I mean, there are a few things that you have to take into account. There are some rules, obviously, because these people are incarcerated, so you can't really start talking about everything or whatever, but if you are inspired, grab that little keyboard of yours and start writing. Just choose a profile, pick out a guy or a girl, and just say, hey, how's it going? And just start from there. So thank you guys for watching and um, see you in the next video. Peace.